Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we went to the monkey cave and we got some trout flavored yogurt, so now we can make it into the Monotoli building. We also got the power of teleportation! And uh, I thought it would be smart to teleport back to Saturn Valley to use the free inn in order to see if Jeff could fix the broken tube. Spoiler alert, he couldn't. And then I was stuck in Saturn Valley and uh, I was like, well, how can I teleport back? And I know that you can kind of twirl the controller and kind of do like a circular motion for the teleport kind of like this, but I am terrible at it. I tried like 10 times. I couldn't do it. I had to walk out of Saturn Valley, walk through the Great Falls, walk through the underground area all the way back to Threed, where I could finally get the straightaway and then teleport back. Yeah, I know. I am horrible at games like this. <laughs> I shouldn't be so bad, but here we are. This is me. I know. So, like I've said, like, if I can do something, anybody can do it. There's many times that I'm like, you know, oh, this is really hard, but I'm like, oh, you know what, but I can do it. So you know that if I can do it, you can too, because I can't even frickin' teleport straight, for God's sakes. So last time that we came in here, we could not go up this elevator, but now Electra is going to let us. Only you may go. And Jeff just comes along for the ride. That's great. Also, um, between this episode and last episode, I went ahead and I deposited the pencil eraser back into um, Escargo Express because we won't be needing that for quite a bit of time. Secret code? I don't have a code. Uh-oh. Yikes! You're counting down a lot faster. That isn't exactly 10 seconds for a sentry robot to block my way. Against this guy, we're just going to attack it. Notice! It can fire a bottle rocket, for God's sakes. Like, that is... Oh, thank God. That is a lot of damage, and it keeps on targeting Jeff, too. That could hurt you really, really, really bad if he actually could hit, but... He can't. Ooh. I still didn't get my IQ. I need one more IQ point to fix that stupid machine, and I still can't get it. Ridiculous. Oh, another bathroom. Ooh. Ooh. Really? Seriously? We have to go through this again? Yeah. Okay. I do wish that you could go inside of bathrooms in this game, but you really can't. Hmm. Like, you see bathrooms, but you can't actually get into the bathrooms, and I can't go around this either, and I don't want to fight this stupid robot, damn it! Watch me get a red encounter, too, even though I obviously know that this guy is here. Oh, good, it's purple. This place kind of bothers me. You know, it's just kind of like... It, 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 it's, it's more... To, God! Urgh! It's more areas during this arc where Paul is kidnapped, where things just freaking bother me. Like these encounters that take so much longer than they should because we have to go through a dialogue box between every single encounter. Like this this whole area without Paula. Just go away! Just sucks! Man, leave me alone! Let's go on inside of this door. Oh, thank God there's no robot. Good lord, get a vital capsule. That raises your vitality, of course, which will end up raising your HP. We're going to be saving that for whenever we rescue Paula. Oh, hey, it's the maid! Hey, how are you doing? Oh, you're actually going to give me the yogurt? Oh, well, what was it? What's fit for a maid? Huh, maybe it's the trout yogurt? I don't know. <laughs> a fashionable treat for snobby hot cuisine in some big cities. You only get 30 HP out of it? Okay, so yeah, it's a piece of crap, but I love the description there. And who would have trout yogurt? Like, that's disgusting. Ugh! I wonder if you can actually avoid this robot. Who knows? For, I guess it's a boss? Against the clumsy robot himself. Gonna be go ahead and use our army of dogs to go against this guy. And uh, you know what else I wanna try to use? The Sudden Guts Pill on Ness. Um, 
Basically, this is just to show it off. So we'll see about Doggy here, and then we'll just go, oh yeah. So I guess I could go ahead and use a neutralizer too to get, oh, you know what? I betcha, betcha, betcha <laughs> that using the neutralizer is going to get rid of the Sudden Guts pill. Ugh, this sucks. Ugh, life up beta on Jeff. Please, 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 please. Come on, no! Oh, sweet. Yeah, that rolling HP mechanic really came in handy there. Oh, good God. Ugh. This clumsy robot normally is really easy and normally doesn't really do much of anything to me. But as you can see, he can be rather hard. I really hope that that sudden guts pill didn't... Really? Actually get neutralized. I'm so dumb. Um, so I neutralized the shield, so I guess I could use the PSI doggy. So here's the deal with the sudden with the sudden guts pill. It would normally raise Ness's smash attacks to like an astronomical amount. Ugh. But yeah, this is what we're getting right now. You know what? Actually, didn't I get another sudden I did. I got another sudden guts pill. So we'll go ahead and use that. Now that I neutralized the uh, the shield and then neutralized the pill and uh, oh, moron. But yeah, normally this robot doesn't really do much of anything, but as you can see, it can fire a missile and kill you. That's what I like to see from that sudden guts pill. Oh, guys rushed into the room. Oh, it's the runaway five. Oh, that's all you had to do was turn off the switch? No kidding. I wasted two sudden guts pills on this stupid robot. Ugh, whatever. Can I actually get a good level up? Well, that's not half bad. Nothing great, but at least it got multiple stats. Hey, guys! Oh, well, thanks. How do you still not have any money? Man, all you guys do is work in all these, uh towns and you never get any money well the bathrooms are full people are having explosive massive diarrhea in there the girl's voice must be paula let's go in and rescue her boys to the rescue and an old man in a golden palace yeah and he's a complete coward i wonder who this reminds everybody of oh well the person who it reminds me of doesn't have thin body Oh. Oh, she is a nice girl. Yeah. Really? He kidnapped you! What are you talking about? I've already talked to him twice. And with that, Paula rejoins. And she doesn't look even mad about it or anything. Well, we know we got trapped in Moonside because of the Mani Mani Statue's illusion. Tracks evil spirits and weakens your heart. Oh, so it was you in Jackie's cafe. What words? Oh, our name. Don't let them go to Summers. Make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. Hmm. Well, according to standard JRPG rules, if somebody does not want you to go somewhere, that's where you have to go. Evil Gigas. Yeah. No kidding. No, I'm good. Across the ocean? Ooh, we get to take his helicopter. Cool. Great. Thanks. Also, this music? Some of the best music in the game. I love it. Wow, he actually seems to somewhat care for Paula. Not that Paula has anything else to say to him, but okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to change around my equipment and change around other things now that I finally have Paula back in my party and I can deal with inventory management and all that kind of stuff, but I'll deal with that off screen. Let's move on. Take a helicopter across the ocean to Summers. Sounds great. Whoa. 
Wait, somebody's already in the helicopter? What's going on here? Uh, wait for us, we're supposed to be in there. Whoa! Oh, of course. It's Pokey. Ugh, <laughs> oh, lovely. Does he even know how to fly a helicopter? How does this kid know how to fly a helicopter? My god, this is so cool. You actually have like a real little helipad right here up at the top of the Monotoli Tower. I really like that little small, just little attention to detail too. Yeah. What do you mean you hope he's okay? I hope he crashes and dies. Piece of shit. Um, Paula, are you okay? What's going on? What is it? To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Why? What's in Threed? Oh. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Well, great. Thanks. So what I'm going to do is get on out of here. I'm probably going to stop by the uh, department store, pick up some more big bottle rockets for Jeff, sell some stuff, change equipment around, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, I'll see you outside. Well, so much for that. On the uh, way outside, Apple Kid called me. Oh. Could it be Gigas? We need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. Find the wandering scientist Dr. Andonauts. Huh. Well, luckily for you, I know exactly where he is, but unluckily for you, we're silent protagonists and we can't tell you. We're gonna... Oh. Um, yeah, it would. I'm not gonna give you my autograph either! Oh my gosh! Can I talk to her again and just stuff it in her face that she's not gonna get anything from me? Screw you! Urgh. Yeah, that's all she has to say. <sighs> oh. I'm not itching for a fight, I'm good. Thinking is tough for you. Okay. I guess because you're a bodyguard and you think with your body? Who knows? I'm not going to stare at your hips either. I'm not going to give you an autograph. I'm not going to stare at your hips. I'm not going to do anything to you. Ugh, oh, time for inventory management. Oh my god. I'm never going to get out of here. What do you want, orange kid? Really? That's what you're working on? You suck. I don't think that orange kid calls you unless you actually give him the money back in Tucson. I don't really know. Yes, I know what solitaire is, you moron. Ugh. What now? No! No! Am I ever going to get to do my inventory management? So you're telling me that I have to take this bus all the way to Threed just to turn around and teleport back to Foreside to buy some big bottle rockets. Like, are you for real? Ugh, viewers, this is my life. Enjoy the music. Thanks for nothing, Runaway 5. I have the teleport ability now. It would have been so much faster. Okay. Where 
are you going to be? Hmm, forgotten some very important item or gadget here. Yeah. Well, we'll figure out what we uh forgot after I can finally, finally sort my freaking inventory around. God! Off to Foreside! I got that taken care of, and I teleported back here. So let's take a gander at what all that inventory management is that I just had to get done. Okay, so Ness, he has the exit mouse back, which I still have one that I still haven't had to use. They give it to you way too early. I gave him back the PSI uh, stuff. I gave him the cup of life noodles for reviving abilities. I should give this pizza over to Paula so that Paula has all of the healing items right now and status curing items and things like that. I bought three big bottle rockets for Jeff, gave him the bag of Dragonite since, you know, he deals with, I don't know, status or damage dealing items or whatever. Um, still is the neutralizer slime generator might come in handy and I just wanted to make sure that I had two open inventory slots on everyone just so I can like have stuff and not have to like you know drop stuff all the time um, all that kind of stuff oh another thing I gave the flame pendant to Paula and I gave Paula's great charm back to Jeff and I used the vital capsule on Paula as well anyway what do we do now let's ask the hint man a silver flying contraption crash landed in the graveyard in Threed. That's right! Yeah! There's something that we forgot here. So it crash landed right there. Anyway, let's go down here and uh, check on it. But last time we saw it, it was completely broken and Jeff couldn't do anything with it either. Oh, but now it's fixed. What in the world? I don't know. Who are these random people down here and they just fixed this thing? This like scientific breakthrough, they just fixed it? Back to winters? Oh, and then we can modify the machine to fly to summers. Great. Oh. Go, machine! Go! I just think it's kind of strange how these two random people come in here, and they're like, well, we didn't actually fix it, we just put a coat of paint over it, even though it was literally just a pile of rubble before. And then this UFO-looking thing can literally just fly, like, one place. It can fly to and from winters, and that's it. And if you want to go to Summers, eh, you're fresh out of luck. You just have to, <laughs> like, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's, I don't know if you have to, like, chart the course or chart the trajectory or something to make it fly there. Who knows? But we get another little, uh, view of places that we've already been to. Last time we flew on the Sky Runner, or Sky Walker, as it was called in Japan, we saw a preview, and now we're kind of like seeing like, yeah, you remember this desert, you know? And now we're gonna go and see Foreside. It's gonna be like, yeah, this is Foreside. We're completely done here. So I like that. It's just a nice little, just a nice little touch there. It's cute. I could just sit here and listen to this music all day long. It's, it's just so good to be out of the, the horrible areas of the game. There are, you know, that, that, that horrible arc. Whenever you don't have Paula, you have to go to the monkey caves, you have to go to freaking Moonside. MONKEYS! Oh, but this is the bubble monkey! Yeah, the bubble monkey and his little girly friend! Hey there! Oh, Oh, they got married! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So now is the time that you're supposed to go um, to the Your Sanctuary location that we saw back with Jeff the first time around. You don't have to go there now if you don't want to. In fact, 
most of the, the vast majority of these, your sanctuary locations that you can go to are completely optional. Um, the only one that you really had to do up until this point, I think, was the very, very, very first one. Like, they're all just optional. Why would you say that? And also, how would you know? You didn't even raise him. Rainy Circle. Huh. I wonder. Oh. Your co-worker is Bigfoot? That's great. That's fantastic. You hired this dopey freaking caveman as your co-worker? Oh, okay. He sells some decent stuff here. Nothing that I need, but yeah. And might as well do this if we're going to go to a Your Sanctuary location and record another melody on our soundstone. And we're going to be doing that next time on Let's Play Earthbound. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.